What is going on guys, and welcome to the very first episode of our Season 3 Pokemon Randomized Nuzlocke, and as you can see on screen right now, we are doing the Sapphire version for our Generation 3 uh, playthrough, I guess what you could call it. But yeah, for the first two seasons, I went ahead and did the first ones with the names, like Red and Blue, so I did Red, Gold and Silver, so I did Gold. And this one, I'm going to go ahead and do the second version of them, and say, you know how it's Ruby and Sapphire, so I'm going to go ahead and do Sapphire. Plus, it's basically like my favorite color anyway, is Blue, so it works. I'm gonna, I really, really love the layout I did on this one. Like, as you can see with the layout, I did have it split just in case, you know, I did... Ruby instead, which I didn't, but still, I love the way it looks and everything, so let's just go ahead and get into this. First, before I actually do get into the game, I do want to go over the rules a little bit for it and everything, just like, just to kind of go over some of the stuff that I have changed in this one compared to the other ones, uh, just because uh, from the last series when we fought Red, it was a very, very, very anti-comatic fight with all the pre-evolution weak bonds that he had, but yeah, so let's just go ahead and go over the Nuzlocke rules first. Uh, the first things first is that in a Nuzlocke, obviously, the first Pokemon you encounter in every single area, towns, routes, caves, towers, whatever the hell you find, uh, the very first one that you uh, encounter is the one that you're able to catch. Anything after that, uh, you can't catch unless it's a shiny. Shiny claws will be in effect, so it's like if a shiny mon ca uh, shows up, uh, no matter when, it could be the 400th Mon in the freaking route or whatever, I'll be able to catch it. Static Mons. Um, the way that one's working is we have it to where it's randomized legend for legendaries and normal for normals. But yeah, they're also uh, a special case to where statics or not count it towards the encounter of an area. They are its own separate entity, and if there's multiple statics in an area, the first one will be the one we consider. Um, also, another rule for it is that if you have a Pokemon faint, it's dead, and it has to go into the uh, PC box in the dead box, and can no longer be used except for maybe an HM slave if you need one that you need some useless move taught to something that you don't want to be, uh, be on your actual mon, so there is that. And also, uh, we are putting into effect, uh, which basically I think I had this one and all the other ones too, but if my entire team faints, even if I have extra Pokemon in the PC box, I lose and have to restart the randomizer. Or the Nuzlocke. I'll make a new ROM and everything, and we will start fresh from the beginning again. Another thing that I will be implementing in this one is I will not be using the speed up button whatsoever. Like, at all. So, um, there is going to be that. The uh, main reason is because I just don't like the way it sounds when you speed up. It's like the music just is horrible when you do that. So it's like, it kind of takes away from the aspect of the game and everything. So we're, we're just not going to be using the speed up button whatsoever. Even if we're getting stalled by a mod. Like, we are not going to use that, I'll just go maybe like a few minutes extra or something like that in the episode, so... Um, another thing... Is, uh... What was the last one? I can't quite remember. Let me see. I think I have it somewhere in here. If I'm missing something, I don't know if I am. Oh yeah, you gotta nickname all your Pokemon, which I will be attempting to nickname all Pokemon after subscribers and everything like that. So yeah, if you're new and I don't realize it and everything, uh, please just leave a comment in this uh, in the video down below and everything. As as go time goes by, I'll recognize that you're there, and I will definitely nickname a Mon after you. So that, that's kind of cool. Um. Also, for the Pokemon Faints, the Dragon Rage Claws will be in effect on the first episode. Just, you know, just to try to avoid it as much as possible, but yeah, that's the thing. Alright, for the Randomizer, the stuff that I have actually randomized in this game is... I do have Impossible Evolutions turned on, so stuff like Honor can evolve into Gengar, etc, etc. I made the evolutions easier, that way the stuff that, like you know, evolves at like level 65 and stuff like that will evolve a little bit sooner. That way we have a chance to get all the mons. Uh, like I said before, statics are legends for legends and normals for normals. There's no way that 
for like an EV static mon or something like that will become a legendary. It just won't happen. The trades, the request and given Pokemon are both randomized. Moves are unchanged, so whatever they learn is what they actually learn. Pokemon traits as in statistics, types, and evolutions, they are not randomized either. So all that stuff will be set in stone, but abilities will be randomized. So for instance, um, a Regigigas with slow start might not have slow start in this one, but it could possibly get randomized to that. Trainer Pokemons will be randomized, and the rival will keep its starter. The forced, uh, uh, this is the part that I actually changed. Now, uh, forced evolved all trainer Pokemon by level 45. So in other words, once we get to a point where the trainer's Pokemons are in the level 40s area or something like that, they will no longer have pre-evolutions. They will all be fully evolved into their final forms. It will make it harder, but at the same time, that's what I want at the end. I want it to be a little bit harder. Uh, TMs will be randomized, but the types compatible is applied where 90 per you have a 90% chance that if it's the same type as a TM, it will be compatible. And all items that you find on the ground will be randomized too, except for if it's like some key item that you absolutely need. So, now that we got that on, onwards, let's go ahead and get, continue on with this game. I will say though, um, this is my second attempt at this recording, the first one. I had it completely recorded all the way to the end and everything. I had caught two mons and everything. And I had my starter, so I actually know what my starter is going to be already. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, something happened with the recording. So, like, my editor couldn't handle it. And, like, I, I just I couldn't upload it whatsoever. And so, yeah, I, that's what I was doing the entire day yesterday because I was going to upload this yesterday, but I just couldn't. It wouldn't work. And so, here I am, re-recording this damn thing, and hopefully with this one I fixed it, because I did a few tests with some settings and stuff, and the temp, like, the tiny recordings that I did and everything, the editor was able to handle it, and so it should be good. Uh, it was something to do with the encoding that I messed up on, or something of that sort, where it, it just couldn't handle it the way I had set it up, which I thought was a better setup, but apparently not. So, there's going to be that. <clears throat> uh, and you are... And this one also I did choose to be the girl uh, this, t uh, this time around just because in the first two ones you can only be a boy at the time. So it's like, you know what, let's just change it up a little bit. And for anyone who is new here, I do call myself Night or Nightshade on this channel. I would put Nightshade, but obviously, you know, it doesn't fit. So we'll just name her Night. And that's what we're going to be, so yeah. And... Yeah. I get it now. And here comes the child abuse. Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me by my Pokemon lab. Just too bad that's not where you're gonna be. But it's all good. Here's the child abuse. Yep, you know, just being tossed in the back of a freaking moving van. With bounces, boxes bouncing all over the place, smacking me in the face and everything. But it's all good. You know, we're alive. We're good. Yeah. Night, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with all our things in the moving truck. Well, then why didn't you have me in the front of the truck then? That's kind of rude. How do you like it? What, moving in the, like, riding in the back of a truck? It kind of sucked. Oh, you mean the house. Okay. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Well, there's only two houses and a Pokemon lab, so it's... Uh, remote, at least. You know, it'd be quite quiet. And you get your own room, Knight! Let's go inside that you'll spend in for the next two minutes, and that's all ever. Isn't it nice in here, too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. It is so convenient. Night, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought me a new clock that I'll never look at ever again. Don't forget to set it. All right, so yes, I will be breaking the fourth wall and it is 11.52 right now, actually. So let's go ahead and start this sucker up. Go, 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 go. So yeah, it's 11.52 AM right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and set that for that. 
Mom. Oh. <laughs> Night, how do you like your new room? Good. Everything put away nice and, or put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Yep, it's a desk. Well, I can, might as well get the potion out. I think there's a potion in this one. <clears throat> yep. Alright, there we go. And continuing downstairs to freak out about a news news thingy that's ending, so. We brought you this report, blah blah blah. Oh, it's over. I need to actually change the text to fast also. So let's do that real quick once we stop talking to our mom. There we go. And last time we actually changed this to the blue. Right there you know. Pokemon Sapphire must have a blue border going around with that too, so. Alright. Let's go ahead and go to our rival's house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our son is upstairs, I think. You don't know where your son is. Man. Like, the parenting in this in these Pokemon games is absolute crap. Who are you? Oh, you're Knight, aren't you? I didn't know you that you are a girl. You're a girl! Oh no! <laughs> so, hi, neighbor. Huh? Hey, Knight, don't you have a Pokemon? Do you want me to catch you one? Aw, oh, darn, I forgot. I was supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? How about you just catch them all for me and I'll pick. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go up here and get our sp uh, starter Pokemon, which I can straight up tell you right now. Uh, the ones that we do have. There is one specific one that I will be picking, like there's no doubt about it. Out of the three. We get a Ditto, a Gorbis, and a Slack Off. Obviously, I'm choosing the Slack Off, because that's going to be absolute power in the future. It's absolute power now, to be honest, but still. Plus, the fact that it already knows Yawn is absolute power, too, so. I wonder if it'll still have the same item on it as it did before. It probably will. And we will be naming this one the same as before also. Um, I was thinking of a good name for it, but I, I think I have a good name for it, so... There will be that. I received this uh, slack also. Oh, damn it. One day I'm going to remember to turn my volume off on my other freaking computer. <laughs> it never fails. I get a stupid notification right in the middle of recording. But yes, we will be naming this one Lori. Because you've been a, a really active person in my comments and everything, so you know, I think I should give you the starter Pokemon, so. Yeah, 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 we'll go see Brendan. Bye! It'd be nice if our mother gave us her running shoes now. But she doesn't, she's an asshole like that. And also. The Pokemon that we did catch in this first route the well, last time was a Flygon, which was absolutely amazing. We better not catch a Barboach this round. I'm gonna be so pissed if we catch a freaking Barboach over a Flygon. Of course. Are we serious, or are we just gonna sit here and miss all the freaking... Thank you! We gotta hit it one more freaking time, oh my god. Ah, we hit it, nice, thank you. Let's get out of that. And immediately go to heal, and we're gonna head up the north. I pray that we get another Flygon, but like, was sad though because the last time we caught one, we immediately caught it. Like it was first ball, like no doubt about it. It was all good. So, which actually, let's see if you have the same nature this time. You was a hardy nature last time. Yep, you are. You're the same nature. 
Flame body was not what you had last time for your ability. Huh. Okay. We'll take it. Sharp beak was the same thing that you had. So that's the same. <clears throat> but your ability's different this time. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get our potion from this guy. Yay, free potion! And I'm gonna go inside and buy three more, and then one antidote. That way I have 2,000 left, that way I can buy 10 Pokeballs to get one Premier Ball. Which, the Premier Ball is the one we actually caught the Flygon with. And up here we actually caught a gold duck. But unfortunately, we probably won't be getting that this round. And this gold duck actually has something special. Let's see if it has it with this ability. Yep, there it is. Drizzle. I hope we catch one that has drizzle this time. Last time we got one that had the rockhead ability. That burn body is gonna be really, really bad, because I don't want it to have flame body. Or be burned. I'd rather put it to sleep to try to catch them, but still. I do want to get to level 6 before I go and battle her. Even though she's going to have the freaking ditto, but still. Yep, and here's a Starmie. Hopefully we don't get this one. I would like to get a Gold Duck with Drizzle, because that would be absolutely insane. Teaching a Gold Duck Surf? With freaking drizzle? Oh my god, would that be power? There we go, level 6. We're gonna go heal real quick. And the best thing about her using a ditto, I can actually use Xion on the first turn, and that'll make him go to sleep almost immediately, so that's kind of nice. It's like a free move for me. Alright, let's go fight Brendan. We should be able to handle this fairly well. And of course, we get another stupid encounter. I don't- oh my god. I don't remember seeing this last time. Oh god. Oh god, Lori, please. We can't escape. Okay, so we're gonna have to fight the stupid thing. Yeah, there you go. Just keep spamming hard, and the way the burn will kill you. This is gonna do almost nothing to you. Then we can't put it to sleep because it got a freaking burn on it. I think what I'm going to do is just use a stupid potion. There we go. That way I can heal before I uh, fight Brendan. That's what I did last time, so that'll work. There we go. Let's just use a damn potion. Alright, Brendan, let's do this. I hope, I hope we get a freaking Flygon and a Gold Duck again. Oh, of course you use Yawn this time. Last time you went for Scratch. Uh, screw you. Oh well, we're gonna go to sleep this turn, unfortunately. Hopefully we wake up. Oh 
Oh god, we're just two sleeping slack alls here. <laughs> wow, what a fight. Uh, oh god, it woke up. Oh, come on, Lori, wake the hell up now. Oh, fl flame body, that came in handy for this one at least. No, it only do half the damage. Thank you, Lori. That should finish you off. Good job. There we go. Hell yeah, level 7. We learned the useless ability Encore. Alright, let's go ahead and head back to the Pokemon Lab. We will need a heal first, unlike I did last time I forgot to heal when I was fighting the Flygon. Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Before we see the most useless dia dialogue ever. As if people have literally forgotten where the damn Pokemon Lab is. They literally just left. Which I'm pretty sure this is something that like, everybody actually comments on. About how that little bit of dialogue was absolutely useless for them to do. And here we go, and now we could actually, um... <sighs> That's where our... What you call it, the... Nuzlocke actually starts. We get our Pokedex. I, I don't really feel like reading all this again, because I read it all last time, so we're good. Hopefully we can do like last time, and skip the first route. And we'll get Pokeballs first before we get our encounter. Which, please, for the love of God, be the Flygon again. It would be great. Which I forgot what ability but Flygon even had. I don't know if it'd be as if it's gonna be the same thing or not. Well, that's if we catch one. I hope it's not the freaking Barboach. For the love of God, please don't let it be the Barboach. Damn it! Oh my God, it's a freaking Iggly buff. Oh, something tells me a scratch is gonna kill this. No, it didn't. Okay, I'll take it. I guess. Go and use yawn. I know this thing doesn't know any attacking moves, unfortunately. So, we'll just use Encore on it, why not? And there we go, it's asleep. This kinda sucks that we don't get the flag on this time. But it is what it is, I guess. There we go, at least we got it. The Iggly Buff. And what would be a good name for this little stupid thing? Which we named the Flygon after Sleepy, uh, after uh, Sleepy of the subscribers, but something tells me no one's gonna want this as their Pokemon they want to be nicknamed after, so. We'll just name it Jack Jack, you know? After the whole Incredibles 2 thing, it, it kind of reminds me of Jack-Jack, so it's all good. But yeah, if, uh, I'm actually to see if I can get a freaking fly gun to encounter. Said I wouldn't use a speed up button, this, but I'm actually just wanting to see if I can... If the encounters are still the same or not. Come on. Wow, was, the fly, was fly gun like the rare one of this route? I think Flygon was the rare one of the route. I can't believe we actually lost the rare the rare one. Wow, I can't believe that.
Did it re-randomize these freaking Themons in this route or something? Surely we should have seen one by now. Screw you, Barboach. Apparently it doesn't want to show me. I guess... I guess it is not here anymore. That was freaking weird. Anyways. Whatever. Well, that's what we got in the first uh, first route this time, so... Dang Iggly buff. That's kind of disappointing, but... I guess a Jigglypuff and a Wigglytuff isn't that bad. Once we get to get to that point. Like, if we get a Moonstone and whatever. Because, you know, Wigglytuff is... Is slightly tanky, so it's not the biggest you know upset ever I pray that we get a gold duck with drizzle in this next route that would be insane and one more potion I hope that's what we get in this next route which in that last episode uh, I actually had apparently wasted more time somewheres and we were already well over the 30 minute mark at this point so I will actually be able to go ahead and get the third encounter on the left uh, route also yes please have drizzle not rockhead please have drizzle not rockhead yes okay here we go Now, if you have a modest nature, that would be insane. You would literally be the perfect. Oh, this is not a good one to use on Koron. Whoops. Oh well, it's asleep. Please just don't get a crit, Lori. Please don't get a crit. Oh, oh god, I don't know if I should attack one more time or not. You know what, we're just gonna try it. We're just gonna try. This is such, uh, still so much health on this thing. I doubt we'll be able to catch it like this. Like, it's probably not gonna happen. Nope! Oh, <laughs> never mind! Oh, yes, we just got a broken Mon right here now. Freaking water type Mon with Drizzle. And it's in its final evolution state, so yeah, here we go. This one, you know, we will go ahead and name this one. There we go. For our second one of our subscribers, there we go, we named it Sleepy. Hell yes, that is really good. I actually want to train that up, like, legit right now. So I think I might actually save the next encounter for the next episode. Like, I might just spend a little bit of time right now grinding up Gold Duck. Because I actually want that one to learn a water move. Because, oh my god, that's going to be insane. Freaking rain without a setup. That is pretty... So that's right, I got freaking running shoes. That increases encounters. You should be able to take on an Igly buff, I would think. You got Water Sport, Scratch, Disable. Okay. You don't have any really decent moves, but... Oh my god, of course Igglybuff knows Sing. Alright. Is that all it knows is Sing? Scratch this stupid little thing. There we go, got a nice little crit. Please be enough to level up. No, not even close. Oh my god, Igly Buff, you are horrible. A bar boat, you should give more XP, I would think. We need to disable that freaking mud slap, that's for damn sure. Alright, let's go ahead and disable. Use disable to get rid of that stupid mud slap. 
Of course it missed. Come on, thank you. There we go. Now let's just scratch. Oh, of course, we're still gonna miss. You can use struggle. Ah, that was your only move. Wow, it was disabled for one whole turn. You know what, let's go ahead and swap out to Lori. And that should be good for the bar boats, all right. Here, at least you're a little bit more XP. Not much, though. Holy crap, that's terrible. We actually need to go to the route above, because that one's got final evolution mons. Alright. keep forgetting I have the dang running shoes. All right, we might actually get some more XP up here. Yeah, Gold Dog's probably gonna give a lot more XP. Yeah, yeah, it continues to fall. If we could get a crit, that'd be great. Yeah, water sport. Yeah, just keep using that. You're good. Yeah, there you go. Just keep using that. You're good. I'll keep using scratch. Even though you've got a negative two defense right now. Uh, but you should still be good. Oh, negative three now. We should still be good, though. Because, like, this is doing almost no damage. There we go. Doesn't matter because it's dead. There we go. 74. That's a whole lot better. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, I didn't even see what the nature of our gold duct is. You know, let's just check that out real quick. No, it's not what I wanted. Summary. You are a hardy nature, so you're neutral also. Holy crap, we've get, literally got two uh, hardy natures. And you're a sturdy, sturdy, one hit KOs don't hurt, uh, hit you. That's kind of nice. So in other words, we could actually use you as a freaking sack off mon, to be honest. Oh my god, of course you use that. Fine then, let's use Tail Whip on you for a few turns. Yeah, you've already disabled something. You can't disable all my moves, you jackass. There we go, we're disabled no more, so let's go ahead and hit him with a scratch. This should do a lot more now. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so this should actually level us up to 6, and I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and end the episode at, actually. Please be enough to hit. Ah, there we go, level 6, nice. Unfortunately, I don't think Gold Duck is going to learn any moves naturally, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he does. Because isn't Gold Duck a evo uh, stone evolution? I think it is. But I'm checking really, really quick. No, it's not. Okay, I'm thinking of something else, I guess. 
so it will learn moves. That's cool. Which is level seven is when it learns water gun. When it hits level seven, that's when it's gonna become absolute power. Ooh, I can't wait! And it learns ten uh, confusion at ten, water per water pulse at sixteen. Oh my god! Wait, am I on the right gen? No, I am not. That's why. We need to be on gen three, you dummy. So it won't learn. Oh no. It doesn't learn a single water move until level 58. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, hopefully we get a TM. A TM that we can use. But alright, so this is going to end the first episode of this series. Uh, this is what our party looks like right now. We've got Sleepy, Jack Jack, and Lori in our party. So hopefully you've liked what you've seen so far. Comment down below if you have. Or if you haven't, either one, tell me what I can improve on. Because I, I really want to improve on this. And tell me if you like the new layout for this one too. Like I actually tried pretty decently to set this one up. It's still not the best I could probably do, but it, I, I love the way it looks. But anyways, hit the subscribe button, the like button if you've uh, enjoyed this series so far, which it's only one episode, but still. Uh, yeah, until tomorrow and episode two, I will see you later and thank you for watching.